This is gonna be interesting. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. I am back with a Q&A part one. I posted on my Facebook group Instagram, and here on the community tab on YouTube for all of your questions, weight loss related, not weight loss related. And I received so many questions that this Q&A is going to have two parts. We would be here all day if I answered all of the questions. And I'm also going to address slash answer some of the not so nice comments and questions that I receive on a pretty regular basis. So thank you to everybody who asked questions and I'm going to do my absolute best in these two videos. They will be posted back to back, one today, one next Sunday to answer all of your questions. I really appreciate you asking and all of the questions are really good and have valuable information in the answers. So if you're excited for a weight loss slash general slash mean comments and questions Q&A, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. And don't forget next Sunday will be part two of the Q&A. In the description box, you'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost the majority of my weight. Continue to lose weight, keep it off. Highly recommend. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join that amazing community. We'd love to have you. So I've got my phone. I've got all the questions, let's jump in. So I'm first going to start with the questions that I received on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here for you. That is how you can keep up with me day to day. I post in my stories every single day. A lot of life things, things that I'm doing day to day, exercise, so definitely follow me over on Instagram. So these first questions came from that. Question number one, how far do you live from Tucson? So we actually live outside of Tucson about 25 minutes, and that is to get to the outskirts of Tucson. Now, if I want to really go into the heart of Tucson, it's between 30 and 40 minutes. So when I go to Sam's Club, Trader Joe's, Costco, Whole Foods, that's about a 30 to 40 minute drive. The next question is, how do you stay motivated to lose weight without going to a WW meeting for accountability? Like I always say, motivation for me is especially comes from results. Motivation just doesn't happen. You're not going to wake up one day and be motivated. There has to be something behind that motivation or something driving that motivation. And for me, that is seeing results. I don't need to go to a WW meeting for accountability because I weigh myself at home. I see that my body's changing, that my clothes are fitting differently, and that's what motivates me. Results equals motivation. Is Troy feeling better since the move? I really hope the answer is yes. I actually got this question multiple times, which seriously, thank you. Thank you for checking in on my husband. I know he's not a huge part of my channel, We'll get to that later, but I appreciate you checking in on him and asking how he's doing. It really means a lot to me. And yes, 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 he is doing much better. Now, being in the heat, being in Arizona didn't cure everything that he has going on medically related, but his body overall feels better. He has a little bit more energy. The warmth really helps with his muscles and his joints. So yes, he is feeling physically better and mentally better. We're both mentally better here. It's sunny every day. It's beautiful here. How can we not be mentally better? But yes, he is physically better as well. And again, thank you again for asking. Would you be willing to do a makeup tutorial for those of us over 50? If you didn't know, I have a beauty channel already. I've had it for quite a while. It is called Budget Beauty. I will link it down below for you. And in fact, it is linked in all of the description boxes of all of my videos. And I do a ton of makeup tutorials. Now I'm not over 50 and I do colorful looks. I do neutral looks. I do full faces of drugstore makeup. I do a lot of tutorials on my beauty channel. So definitely subscribe over there if you're interested in makeup and tutorials. I do plan on doing my morning routine and nighttime routine here on Jen's WW journey, but all of my makeup content is on my beauty channel. What's your number one tip for someone starting on a weight loss journey? This is easy. Number one is whatever you're going to do to lose weight, make sure it's something you can stick with. Do your research, figure out, is it just a fad diet? Does it offer 
fast weight loss. If it sounds too good to be true, chances are it is. So make sure that whatever you're doing, you can do to lose weight and maintain your weight. Make sure that it isn't just a fad diet or a quick fix or a diet in general. Make sure it's something you can work into a lifestyle because that is how you're not only going to lose weight, but keep it off. Number one is to pick the program that works for you. What is your favorite music to work out to? Now, here's something interesting about me. When I walk and when I'm on the elliptical at the gym or on the Stairmaster at the gym, I'm generally watching slash listening to YouTube. That is how I catch up with all of my favorite content creators. I generally will watch YouTube. Now, when I'm lifting weights, I just listen to whatever music is playing in the gym. I don't know, I've never been, I've never really been someone that music drives my workout. I would rather watch YouTube and just focus on my workout rather than having a playlist or some type of music that I work out to, which is probably weird. I'm probably definitely not normal when it comes to that. Do you really do Weight Watchers or is it because it's your name on YouTube? We're getting into the juicy things. Of course I follow WW. If I didn't follow WW, I would tell you. And if I choose not to follow WW in the future, I will tell you. It is very simple to change my name on YouTube. It's very simple to change Jen's WW journey to something completely unrelated to WW. I'm not going to do a program if it doesn't work for me, if I don't like it, just because it's in the name on my YouTube channel, because again, it's a super, super easy fix. And if you follow me, which clearly this particular person isn't a common follower of mine. I always say that I count calories and macros first and WW second. When did you realize you needed to count macros or calories in addition to WW? So back in 2019, I'll give you kind of a quick rundown. I would recommend that you go back here on my channel and watch some of my old videos because I talk a lot about my transition into different phases of my weight loss journey. But in 2019, I was strictly doing WW. I wasn't seeing a lot of progress. I was having some stomach and digestive issues, which led me into researching a cleaner eating, cleaner diet on WW, which is what I then transitioned to. Then I realized that I wasn't eating nearly enough on WW. I was always hungry, never satisfied, knew that I wasn't eating enough, and that's what prompted me to research points versus calories, which made me realize that I was severely under eating on WW, which prompted my interest in nutrition, which is when I got my nutrition certification, which was over two years ago. And what also led me down the path of making sure that I was number one, eating enough calories and number two, focusing on protein, because that's what actually kept me full and satisfied. And when I reached my protein goal every day, that's when my weight went and continued to go down consistently and I was full and satisfied and didn't feel like I was on a diet. Now there's so much more to this whole process and journey, but in a nutshell, as soon as I realized I wasn't eating enough and I was not interested in permanently damaging my metabolism, I immediately made sure that I ate enough and hit my protein. I'm still confused how to figure out macros you mention all the time now. So you can use macro calculators online, but I'll tell you right now that they are not accurate. They ask you very, very minimal information and give you very generic macros and calories. It is really important to invest in yourself. And we're not talking about a large investment, but have someone like myself, a weight loss and nutrition coach, figure your personal macros and calories. I ask about 12 different questions and figure your macros based on you, not just some generic information on the internet. But it is an investment that will lead to maximum weight loss results and you'll be able to keep your weight loss off. So for very little money, you reap huge, huge reward. So I'll make sure my nutrition coaching website is linked down below. That's where you will find personalized macros and calories. What is your favorite shampoo? I actually use quite a few different shampoos. Right now I'm on an Olaplex click kick. I've been using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner as well as the Olaplex purple shampoo. And on a side note, my favorite hair mask, my holy grail hair mask, if you have blonde hair, gray hair, light hair, highlights, lowlights, is the Amica Bust Your Brass hair mask. It's chef's kiss, amazing, wonderful. I use it every week when I wash my hair. That's how even between colors, my blonde stays blonde and all the brassiness is gone. 
I'll link everything down below for you, but right now those have been my go-tos. I'm finding it harder to lose weight ever since I had a hysterectomy. Any suggestions on how to be successful? Now, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know much about hysterectomies. I've never had one, but anytime that we change or alter our body or our hormones, it can play a negative part in losing weight. And as we get older, it's harder to lose weight. My recommendation would be to talk with your doctor or physician and ask what their professional opinion would be on weight loss and how to maybe amp it up after your hysterectomy. What are some of your makeup must-haves? Again, all of my makeup content is on my beauty channel. I actually film, like I said, a lot of tutorials where I share some of my favorite beauty products. I'm going to be filming a video on my everyday makeup drawer. So all the products that I wear every single day. And also in the description box of all of my videos on my beauty channel, I list all of the makeup that I'm wearing so that you can see the products that I'm using and shop those products. So again, if you love makeup and beauty, definitely subscribe. Do you always use your weeklies? And if so, on what day usually? Yes, 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 yes. If you get anything, anything from this Q and A and you are strictly on WW, eat your weeklies, every single solitary one of them. That is the only way that you're going to even get close to the number of calories that you should be consuming in a healthy caloric deficit on WW. And chances are you're still not going to be eating enough, but at least you're getting a little bit closer, doing less damage to your metabolism overall. Also, any activity, exercise, or water points you earn, eat those as well. Again, the only way that you're going to even get close to the amount of calories that is healthy and sustainable for weight loss. And since I now focus on calories and protein, I don't have a cheat day anymore. I actually shared this in my big mistakes on WW video. I'll link that down below for you as well, where I talk about all the mistakes I've made on my weight loss journey. And one of those was having a cheat day because it really developed an unhealthy relationship with food for me. And it is something that I have for quite a while now eliminated completely from my diet. And I just eat what I want when I want and I track it and I move on. So if I were strictly on WW using my weeklies, my answer would be that I just spread them out as needed throughout the week. What are some of your hobbies? When this question was asked, I was like, I don't really have any hobbies. I mean, I really don't have a lot of hobbies. I would say that fitness and exercise, I guess, could be considered a hobby. I love makeup. That's definitely a hobby for me. I would say that of all the hobbies I have, it's definitely relating to beauty and makeup, but I'm so busy with nutrition coaching and YouTube and family life that I really don't have any set hobbies. So unfortunately, I don't have a lot of hobbies, but I have things that I really enjoy doing. So I guess that would be my hobby. Has it been hard making new friends in Arizona? Surprisingly, no. The day we moved in, the day we were unloading the U-Haul, we made friends with our neighbors at Matt and Ashlyn next door. We were just there on Saturday for a get together. We, I talk to Ashlyn almost every day. We hang out with them on a regular basis. So no, honestly, it hasn't been hard to make new friends here. We also know our neighbors on the other side of us. Meeting my neighbor Ashlyn has introduced me to a lot of her friends, which are now my friends. And a lot of these girls actually live in the development that I live in. So we're within walking distance from each other. I've made a couple of friends at the gym. So no, surprisingly, it's been really easy to make new friends here, which I'm really, really grateful for because when we moved to Arizona from Washington, I knew literally no one other than my in-laws. Have you gotten your Arizona real estate license yet? No, I have completed all of the classes to get my license, but I haven't actually taken the test. And to be honest with you, for some reason, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm so busy with other pieces of my career, like YouTube and nutrition coaching. I'm just not that excited about it. I, it may also be because I really don't know a lot of people here and I'm a little nervous on where business is going to come from once I actually get my license. And on the other, and another piece of that is it is very expensive to get your license and maintain your real estate license. So maybe the fear of not knowing anybody and not having business is preventing me from being excited about it, if that makes sense. I actually had a conversation with my husband, Troy, just a few days ago about my real estate license. And because I am so focused on coaching, which really is my passion, I'm going to be waiting a little bit longer to decide whether or not I'm going to get my license and when that will be. 
I also am traveling a lot the last part of 2022, so it may not be until next year that I get my real estate license, but classes are done. I just need to take the test. I always wondered, have you seen any scorpions while you're out for a walk or at home? So yes, we've seen a few of the native Arizona critters. So there are four common animals or critters that are found where I live in Arizona. We have rattlesnakes, tarantulas, scorpions, and javelinas. Now I see a lot of javelinas on my walk. They graze and eat the grass on the walking trails. So I've seen a lot of those. If you don't know what a javelina is, Google it. It's really hard to explain. It's like a pig thing and they're mean. So I usually stay pretty far away from them. We have had two scorpions in our garage. Now I haven't seen them, but Troy took pictures and showed them to me. They're not the cool black scorpions. They're like an orangey yellow scorpion. And we have, like I said, have had two in our garage. I've yet to see a rattlesnake and I've yet to see a tarantula which honestly, I'm okay with. How do you meal plan to fit your macros for the day? Thank you for doing them for me, by the way. You are very welcome. I hope that you are having huge success with your personalized macros and calories. I'll tell you that 99.9% .9 of my coaching clients are losing more weight than ever with macros and calories than they ever did on WW or any other type of diet out there. They're more successful with macros and calories. They're eating more, they're satisfied. So for me, how I meal plan is focusing on protein. Numero uno for me with every meal and every snack is getting in my protein. I decide what protein source I'm going to have and then I pair the other macros with that, carbs and fats. And on a side note, I get asked this a lot too, what are macros? Carbs, fats, protein. Those are the three macronutrients. So those are all of the questions that I got on Instagram. Let's jump into the questions that I received here on YouTube. And then in part two, I'll go over all the questions that I received on my Facebook group, because that was the majority of the questions. Can you do some get ready with me videos? I'd love to see how you do your makeup and what you use. You always look so pretty. Well, thank you again for that. I got a lot of questions about makeup in general. We'll dive into some negative ones next, but I got a lot of questions on what makeup I use, can I do tutorials? And again, just come on over, join my beauty channel. You'll get all the makeup content your heart could ever desire. Speaking of makeup, one of the questions that I got was why do you wear so so much makeup. You're naturally pretty. I don't think you need so much makeup. Well, thank you for letting me know that I'm naturally pretty, but that's kind of a loaded compliment. And here's the thing with makeup. I've addressed this in a what I eat in a day, I don't know, a month or so ago. I'll link that video down below where I actually talk to you guys about giving your opinions on people's appearance, whether it be makeup related, weight related, clothing related, giving your appearance, giving your opinion in general on people's appearance. Here's the thing about opinions. I mean, you know what they say about opinions and it's just that your opinion and you should never inflict your opinion or your way of thinking on others. This is America. It's a free country. I can wear as much makeup or as little makeup as I want and makeup washes off at the end of the day. It's not that serious. And here's the other thing. If you don't like my makeup, then don't do your makeup like my makeup. Nobody is forcing you to apply makeup like I do makeup, but this is my body, my face, and I will use as much makeup as my little heart desires. And another comment that I got was, I like you with natural makeup way better than I like you with colorful makeup. Great, I'm glad that you like the natural, more neutral look, but again, I love color. I love all makeup. I don't discriminate. I love all makeup, and again, I'll continue to wear whatever makeup suits me because it is my personal decision. And again, remember commenting on people's appearance is absolutely inappropriate and unacceptable. And also when you're leaving comments on YouTube, on people's YouTube videos or on people's social media, think to yourself, ask yourself first, would you say that to them face to face in real life? And if the answer is no, then don't be a keyboard warrior, be a better person, be a positive person and focus on yourself. And remember hurt people hurt people. Do you have any recommendations for vitamin brands specifically in iron supplement? So I do share a lot of supplements that I take here on my channel. I take a BCAA after workout. I take a green supplement. I take a probiotic. I take a general vitamin. My vitamin that I take every day has iron in it. So I'm actually getting iron and vitamins all rolled into one daily vitamin. I'll link my favorite down in the description box for you. Hi, I love your channel. Do you feel like that test you took for gut health helped and was accurate? Just curious, I've been thinking about getting one. Yes, get the Ombre gut health test. Both Troy and I take our personalized probiotic every single day. It has definitely helped regulate my gut health, which by the way is a big contributor 
contributing factor to whether or not you lose weight. It has helped Troy regulate his gut health. We love our personal probiotic. In fact, both of us are planning on retaking the test. Again, you should retake it about every six months because your gut bacteria will be regulated with your probiotic. And there may be other bacteria that you're deficient in that you'll need to address with your next batch of personal probiotics. I will link Ombre Gut Health Test with a discount down below for you, but I highly, highly recommend. It's been one of the contributing factors to my weight loss. Hi, I'm just wondering what you need to get your macros done. Do you need current weight? height, goal weight. I just want to be prepared before signing up. Also, just something else I was curious about is did you end up getting your realtor license in Arizona? So I already addressed the realtor license part. And when you sign up for personalized macros and calories, I actually send you a questionnaire. It has about 12 questions, very in-depth questions. You'll answer those questions, send that back to me. And that is what I base your macros on. Like I said, it is much more accurate and personalized. And again, it's linked down below for you on my nutrition coaching website website. Just recently found your channel. Thank you for sharing what works for you. You look great and are an inspiration. Oh, thank you. How long have you been doing WW? What are your zero point foods on personal program? How tall are you? What is your goal weight? Thank you. Whew. That's a lot of questions. So first of all, how long have I been doing WW? I actually have done WW on an offer. 10 years, but I really got back to the program in 2019. What are your zero point foods on the personal program? I just redid my little questionnaire on WW and my only zero point foods now are non-fat Greek yogurt, chicken, fruits, and non-starchy vegetables. How tall are you? I am five feet eight. And what is your goal weight? I don't know what my goal weight is yet. I actually have never shared my weight in general here on my channel. Like I said, I will share that at the end. Once I hit my goal weight, we'll go over all the numbers then. But at this point, I'm kind of just listening to my body, seeing where my body lands, where my body is happy. And because I am on a fitness journey and a muscle building journey, my goal weight may fluctuate. It may be completely different than I initially thought. So as of now, I don't have a goal weight, but as soon as I do, I'll definitely let you know. Here's another huge list of questions. Can you share your daily schedule, how you get in and upload five videos a week, meal prep, all the house chores, etc. I am very type A. I am a list maker. I am very scheduled. So for me, I have a very distinct YouTube schedule, nutrition coaching schedule. Troy and I clean our house every Sunday. And I'm very fortunate to have a husband who is officially retired at the age of 48. And it can help out with a lot of the household types of things, taking a lot of that off of my plate. But I just make sure that I schedule in everything, homemaking, career, and personal. Which accredited institute did you obtain your health coaching certification from? So my nutrition and weight loss certification comes from NASM, which is the National Association of Sports Medicine. Where did you learn to calculate yours and other people's macros? I learned and used the system that comes from my accreditation with NASM. Can you share any budgeting tips? I recall your husband is pending Medicare disability. So yes, actually I got that question too. Has Troy heard from social security disability? No, we haven't heard anything. We actually applied the middle of February. He did call for an update and they said that it's a potential that we may not hear back until maybe September or October. So that is definitely still up in the air as far as his disability. So as far as budget goes, I, we don't really have a budget. We, when we sold our house in Washington and moved here, we were able to pay off all of our debt, car payments, any credit card debt that we had. So as of right now, the only debt we have is our mortgage. So we really don't have to budget because we do have enough extra money, I guess, every month to live without having to be on a strict budget. I will tell you though, that there are some really great budgeting content creators here on YouTube, just search budget and you'll get a plethora of options. How do you stay so motivated to exercise and be self-disciplined to have your own social media biz? So I stay motivated to exercise by seeing results. Like I said, for me, motivation, comes from results. I also have a fitness coach for accountability that I have to check in with every week. Kind of going back to investing in yourself. Sure, it costs money to get your macros done. It costs money to have one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. It costs money to have a fitness coach, but it's an investment in yourself. And I will tell you that by having a fitness coach and starting a regimented fitness routine has been the best thing I have 
ever done for my health, my endurance, my strength, and my body, and even my weight loss. Do you edit your own videos? And if so, what do you use? Yes, I edit all my own videos and I use Filmora. And the last question in this big list is, do you conduct coaching for starting a YouTube channel? And if yes, what is the pricing? No, I do not. Uh, my coaching is nutrition and weight loss related, but again, on YouTube, there are tons of videos about starting a YouTube channel. How's your husband's health? You've mentioned before he's had some health problems. How old are your fur babies and are they pound puppies? So I already answered about Troy's health and that it's doing substantially better since we moved here. If you didn't know, we have three dogs. I have a yellow lab named Diesel who will be 11 in January. I can't believe it. And I actually purchased him from a breeder when I lived in Montana. I have Lola who is my Pitbull boxer mix. She is a rescue from a kill shelter in Idaho. So I'm not a hundred percent sure how old she is, but I would say eight or nine. And then we have our newest addition to our family, Palmer, our French bulldog, who we purchased from a breeder when we lived in Washington. And he is one and a half years old. How can we never see Troy on your channel? Is he not supportive? The assumptions and the comments I get sometimes are flabbergasting. Just because Troy isn't on my channel doesn't mean that he doesn't support me. It simply means that this isn't his channel. He's not on a weight loss journey. This is Jen's WW journey, not Troy and Jen's WW journey. And he just doesn't want to be on camera all the time. And I respect that. As his wife, I give him the option on whether or not he wants to appear in videos. Now he's been on my Instagram several times. He has appeared in several videos, but are you going to see Troy in every single video? No. Am I going to force my husband to be in videos? No. But does my husband support me? Absolutely. How did you lose your weight so quickly recently? I know you would talk about how you were not losing on WW. Then it seemed like a couple of months you were half the woman you were. Okay. I didn't lose my weight quickly and I was not half the woman that I was in two months. This has been a process. Like I mentioned, I started my weight loss journey in 2019. It is 2022. Now has my weight loss increased since I switched over to counting calories and protein? Absolutely. Since I got my thyroid corrected with medication, absolutely. But none of this happened quickly. It has been quite the process. And I think that when I get this comment or question, which I honestly get a lot, they clearly don't watch my channel or follow me because if they did, they would know that this hasn't been quickly and it certainly didn't happen in a couple of months. I noticed that you go over your points, but you're still losing weight. So I guess my question is, how is that possible to that you eat low calorie meals, but you still go over your points and somehow you're still losing weight. So that's the thing with WW. And that is one of the reasons that I've transitioned over to counting calories and protein first and then points secondary. And for me, wherever my points fall, my points fall. Because for me, I want to make sure I'm eating enough keeping my body going, my metabolism fired up, stoked and moving and still lose weight. You can eat a lot and still lose weight. Once you get your metabolism corrected and fixed from WW and from all those fad diets that have really done damage to your metabolism, once you get that revved and stoked, the weight just comes off even though you're eating more. Any advice on binge eating, overeating, emotional eating, I notice I try to hoard calories so I can just veg out at dinner or after dinner, which is a terrible habit. That was me. That was me in that mistakes I made on WW video. I talk a lot about this, so I'll link it down below. I go way more into depth about this, but the number one thing you have to do if you suffer from any of these tendencies is to work on healing your relationship with food and not starving yourself all day and overindulging at night. Not only is that terrible for your metabolism, it also puts you into a disordered relationship with food, which I have worked really hard on the last couple of years to correct my relationship with food. So I know longer suffer from these. So I'll link that down below. That video goes more into depth. I've been having a hard time balancing my budget and weight loss because it can sometimes be more expensive to buy all the high protein foods. Could you talk about how you budget if it's too personal, no problem. So I did discuss a little bit that we don't actually have a budget, but this goes back to investing in yourself. You don't have to buy all the expensive protein supplements. You don't have to buy the protein powders, the protein bars, the water enhancer that has protein in it. You can buy food at your local grocery store that's affordable prices that help you get in your protein. Now, do the protein supplements help? Absolutely. And how you have to look at this is again, an investment in yourself. Work it into your budget if at all possible. Maybe every two weeks or once a month, you pick up a new protein supplement instead of feeling like you have to buy everything right now. Hi, I just found your channel last week. 
and I'm from Washington State. Where did you live here? Also, how often have you gone over your points or calories and does it make you stall and not lose weight or is there a range? I'm starting to count calories and I'm interested in possibly WW. Oh, and I love your eye makeup. Thank you so much. Uh, we are actually from Spokane, Washington, and we did move to Sawaita, Arizona about four months ago, which is outside of Tucson. And as far as going over my points, I go over my points every single day because it is more important for me to reach my calorie goal and my protein goal than to stay within my points. Remember, WW is a tool and we all use weight loss tools differently. I use it for data. I use it to help me choose healthier foods. I use it to help me get in my protein and my calories. But for me, making sure I'm eating enough and focusing on protein and still losing weight, which has been the most successful way for me to lose weight, is what I am primarily focused on. Now, whether you go WW or counting macros and calories, pick one and stick with it. There's no need to do more than one program at a time. Find what works for you and stick with it. Any idea on your step count each day? You're such an inspiration, by the way. So I don't actually have a step goal every day. I try to get in between 6,000 and 10,000 steps a day. Now I do close my rings on my Apple Watch every day because I exercise or move my body in an intentional way seven days a week. So I'm always closing my rings. But again, my steps vary from 6,000 to 10,000. Just because you have a step goal doesn't mean you're going to lose weight. Weight loss starts in the kitchen, fitness starts in the gym. Focus on your food and then whatever steps you get are the steps that you get. Do you have any advice for someone who lives on the road six weeks at a time? We try to grocery shop, but it doesn't always work out and we end up eating the crap few food at the gas station. So I don't travel for a job, but I do travel a lot. And my number one suggestion for you would be to make sure that you have healthy options on hand. Put foods in your truck, in your suitcase, in your backpack, in your travel bag that are non-perishable and that help you reach your goals. So some of my go-to things that I pack with me are protein bars, protein powder, and protein water enhancer. I always have beef jerky, meat sticks, trail mix. Those are all things that are non-perishable that I always, always have in my travel bag. And another thing that I've been including are little individual packs of nut butter. It's a great way to get in protein and healthy fats. And again, they don't have to be refrigerated. Actually, my favorite nut butter brand, American Dream Nut Butter, just came out with little single squeeze packs. And I bought them all, several of them, because like I said, I have a lot of trips coming up and that is a go-to staple for me. So I'll link some of my non-perishable favorite travel things travel snacks down below for you. Do you schedule your meals into your day? So I talked about how I plan my days already, but I don't actually schedule my meals anymore. That was another thing that was a mistake that I made on WW. That's part of that video in the description box, but I just eat when I'm hungry. I'm really big on listening to my body. And when I'm hungry, I eat. When I'm not hungry, I don't. So I actually don't schedule my meals, but I make sure that I'm eating between five and six meals a day because that is how I get in my protein and my calories. What would you suggest to help someone lose weight that cannot have a high protein diet? Calorie deficit. Calories in, calories out is how you lose weight. Does protein help with weight loss? Sure. Does protein keep you full and satisfied? Yes. Does protein help you build lean muscle? Yes. But all you have to do to lose weight is be in a calorie deficit. Now, if you have a specific diet, whether it's low protein, high carb, definitely talk with your doctor for food suggestions, but simply being in a calorie deficit is how you lose weight. What does your hubby think of the new you? I think the new me surprises him <laughs> on a regular basis. He'll make comments on how good I look or how thin I look, or he'll say, look at this picture of you before. And now look at this picture of you now. He's very, very proud of me, but he loves me at any size as a husband should be. Unconditional love has nothing to do with how we look, but I know that he appreciates that I'm able to be more active with him. I can do more things on a day-to-day -day basis. I have more confidence and he's made several comments about how he loves how much more confident I am in my skin and how I've really embraced a fitness journey because he knows that it makes me happy. And you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. Are you still doing a WW along with calorie counting? I wonder if people use WW meetings, but count calories instead of a points. So I do, like I said, do both, but calories and protein is number one for me. And people use WW meetings for accountability. That is the big thing for those. You have to weigh in at a WW meeting. There's a workshop topic to discuss. It's a source of accountability for people. That is what my coaching clients use me for, a way to check in accountability. That is what I use my fitness coach for. So you have to find what accountability 
avenue works for you, whether it's WW meetings, myself as a coach for you, whatever works for you to keep you on track is what you should be doing. What can I eat to not feel like I'm starving? I feel like I'm not eating enough and I'm right on plan with WW. Again, most people, and when I say most, 99% of people following Strictly WW are in way too severe of a calorie deficit. Honestly, I've never met someone that eats enough calories on WW, possibly on maintenance, but not in weight loss mode on WW. So if you're hungry all the time, if you are never satisfied, just like I was when I strictly did WW, you need to decide if that's the right program for you. You need to focus on eating protein and focus on your zero point foods to fill in the gaps to keep you fuller for longer. But again, look at your calories and make sure you're in a healthy deficit. And if not, maybe you need to decide whether or not that program WW is working for you. Are you doing keto or low carb? No, <laughs> no. I don't know where some of these things come from. I've also talked about keto time and time again here on this channel as well as my nutrition channel. Yes, I have a nutrition channel. Make sure you come over there for more nutrition information. We debunk myths about nutrition. It's a super fun channel. I upload twice a week there, so I'll put that in the description box for you too. But I do not agree with keto. I don't agree with anything that isn't sustainable. Like I said, whatever you do to lose weight, you have to do to maintain your weight. And if it sounds too good to be true or it eliminates or restricts foods, it's probably not something that's sustainable. And as far as low carb goes, no, I do not follow a low carb diet. I will never follow a low carb diet. Again, I do not restrict or eliminate anything. I do make sure that I eat healthy carbs because I suffer from inflammation, but I absolutely do not follow keto or a low carb diet. On plan, they say you can go seven under or 10 over. So she's talking about WW. I've asked the Weight Watcher coaches three times. I just don't understand how people stay on either side of their point value. In order to get a blue dot, which that's a whole nother topic, but in order to get a blue dot, you have to be within a point range on WW, which is points under your goal and a certain amount of points over your goal. That allows for flexibility and flexibility is really important in whatever plan you're following. That's why I love calories and protein because it's flexible. I truly can eat whatever I want and I can flex my calories and my protein throughout the week, which is what WW does by allowing flexibility in your point range. Now you don't have to use that flexibility that's there, but it's there if you need it. Oh my goodness, this is so long already and I haven't even touched the questions in my Facebook group. I'm really happy this is going to have two separate parts, but the final question. Let's end on a juicy question that I received. Do you take diet pills? Because that is the only way that explains your weight loss. No, I have never taken diet pills in my entire life. I have never taken diet pills. I do not condone diet pills. Again, like I've said, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. And that's the case with diet pills. Not only is it too good to be true, they're unhealthy. They have long-term negative consequences and they're not sustainable. So no, I don't take diet pills. I've never taken diet pills. I will never take diet pills and I don't condone diet pills. Now, my weight loss comes from hard work all the hard work I've put in, staying consistent, staying determined, staying on track, that's where my weight loss comes from. It has nothing to do with some type of crazy diet pill. So there you have it. Part one of this huge weight loss and lifestyle and juicy Q&A. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Again, make your, sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I'll be doing part two of this Q&A next Sunday. And of course, check out the description box down below for everything we talked about in today's video. All the links will be there for you, as well as nutrition coaching. Again, I highly recommend macros and calories and take the investment in yourself and utilize me for one-on-one -on -one coaching, accountability, and support. And lastly, come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you again to everybody who asked questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!